there are some deals that you ought to go to Kroger and pick up this week. This first deal does not expire until 11-10, November 10th. So you have plenty of time to go get some Suave Professionals. Now the coupon for this does expire 10-25, um, 10-26, I'm not sure because I used all my coupons. But the Suave Professionals, this is the 12.6 ounce size and it is on sale for $1.49. Well, we have Red Plum coupons that are for $1.50. So I will um, put the date right down here in just a second because <laughs> I forgot what the date was for that Red Plum. But $1.49 minus $1.50, free shampoo, hello. That is my favorite price, free. So I had 10 coupons. The coupon says limit two her shopping trip. So I went Friday, a Thursday evening after a homeschool event, I went Friday a couple of times, and then I went Saturday as well to be able to use all of my coupons. So I got four types of one shampoo, four types of another, and two conditioners because the conditioners in the 12.6 ounce size are $1.49 as well. So make sure you buy the Suave Professionals in order to use the coupon correctly. The coupon says Suave Professionals, the regular swab is on sale to a larger bottle for the $1.49, but the regular swab is not included in that coupon. I had Werther's coupons that I'm pretty sure they're Smart Source coupons. I'll put the date and insert right down here. The Werther's Originals Hard Candies and the Chewies are two for three, so they're $1.50 each. And I used my coupon that was a dollar off of two, so the Werther's Originals cost a dollar a bag, and we have um, everybody in our house likes this type. Big favorite. The other thing that you ought to go pick up the Lance eight pack variety packs many different flavors to choose from here's the variety pack i didn't mean to say variety pack only but variety packs are included and the ones that eight packs are all the same these are two for four and i do not know when that sale expires if it expires this tuesday or not i'm not sure so two dollars a box minus the one dollar fifty coupon that came out right here and you will pay 50 cents a box for these eight packs of um, Lance crackers. They're regularly like 320, 340 depending on the store you go to. Now you you might save your coupon for if you have Bilo or Harvey's near you. They put the Lance multi-packs on sale, buy one get one free, but I'm pretty sure that's a summer deal. So if you want to take a chance and wait to see if that happens at Bilo and Harvey's, um, go ahead. But I wanted to be sure to get these at a good deal, 50 cents a pack. So I went ahead and got mine at Kroger. The coupon does say limit four per household per day. So you have to go like I did Friday and Saturday to be able to use all your coupons. Now, I had um, no idea about the sale on these Lance multi-packs until I was in the store Friday evening. And I saw at the end of an aisle, the end cap had two for four. I said, oh my goodness, I have $1.50 coupons. Well, where were my coupons? They weren't with me in the store, but they were with me in my van. I have two big coupon binders and they stay with me in my van. I do not lug them around the store because it's too much weight. I don't wanna drop them or forget them. But my coupons were with me, so all I had to do is go out to my van and get, my, get the coupons I needed. So that is why I use coupon binders. I don't leave my coupons at home in, um, any other organizational method. I just use my binders because they're mobile and it's organized. I didn't have to clip them. They're already clipped. They're in my salty snacks division. I pulled the $1.50 coupons out, saw it said limit of four. So Kroger enforces what the coupons say. So I have to get the four coupons out, go in and buy these 50 cents boxes of Lance multi-packs.
Now, I'm going to clean all of this up again, put it all back up, and I'm going to bring out the meat that we bought because there are some, several types of meat in the southeast Kroger region that uh, those prices are stock up deals. So, stay tuned. <laughs> So the different meats that hit stock up price for me are all Heritage Farm brand. That is the Kroger brand. It's packaged by Tyson and it's, it has great flavor. They, um, the chicken breasts in particular stay very tender when you bake them. And anyway, so this is what I got. The boneless skinless chicken breasts. $1.99 a pound. That is my buy it right now and don't you dare wait price for boneless skinless chicken breasts. There are um, five in this package and six in this one and they're large. So this will last us usually two meals. We have five in our family and when I cook these it lasts for two meals because I fix you know, peas and rice or something else with them that um, we don't usually eat a lot of meat in a meal, but this was $5.51, this one was $6.41, and the prices are going to vary because of the, the weight of the chicken, of course. Now, the other item that's a stock up is the $0.99 cents price for the chicken drumsticks. The chicken thighs are also $0.99 cents a pound, too, so this is... 476 and there are probably 18 in this package so 99 cents a pound for drumsticks or thighs whichever one you prefer the chicken leg quarters they are sold in a 10 pound bag for 49 cents a pound that's the cheapest price you're going to find I usually buy the Claxton chicken leg quarters for 59 cents a pound but that Heritage Farm beat the Claxton price this week. 49 cents a pound. Sold only in a 10 pound bag, but you can split it in half, whatever you want to do. That'll last us for two, maybe even three meals. The other stock up item, the whole chicken fryers, yeah, 99 cents a pound. This one was 450 and I have one cooking right now that was just over five dollars so 99 cents a pound for that chicken now next week there may not be stock up prices on meats like this so I may not have any meat that I feel like I need to buy so that's why I get larger quantities because I don't know what you know next week's gonna bring as far as the sales go but I have the chicken the whole chicken cooking right now for chicken and rice it's a great recipe and I will post that at the end of this video I had to buy some celery from Kroger for my chicken and rice and it was $1.49 for the stock so that was a good deal for the celery these five packages plus the one chicken that I have cooking now is probably about $30 for the chicken for the week and it's going to last us probably two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, ten different meals. Thirty dollars. Good deal for the meat and the Heritage Farm brand. If you haven't tried it yet, you uh, you should give it a try because it's a good flavor to it.